Hi Barry fans, this is Tim from Bergshed.com and we're here today for a look around the accommodation areas of this converted motor fishing vessel and as you can see we're starting in the main mess area and yeah we'll just take a look around you, it's absolutely fabulous. I'm going to sit here because it's nice and comfy here. You've got a whacking great big saloon table here, we've got U-shaped seating all the way around the forward bulkhead on the port and starboard side and as you can see we've got nice wood uh, head, uh, headlining, we've got nice wooden decking, or nice we're also around the, the deck, the bulkheads as well. I do apologise for the noise, the boat's just been refloated after a working period, so there's a lot going on, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to get you inside here so that you can see this space. Now it is a virtual reality video, so all you need to do is click and drag or touch and drag your screen up, down, left or right, and you can look where you like, when you like. We hope this feature will give you a really good idea as to how this space is and if she might be the space for you. When I move the camera, uh, some people have reported they feel a bit sensitive to the movement, so if you feel you may be like that, when you know I'm going to move the camera, I'll tell you, um, and all you need to do is avert your eyes, and I'll tell you when the camera is safe again, and you can come back to me or we'll continue the tour. So, here we are, in the mess square, loads of windows, nice and light and bright and airy, feels like quality as well, we've got 240 volt sockets everywhere, we've got heating, big flat screen, bookshelves, microwave, fridge with a freezer compartment, what more could you want really? Um, let's have a stand up then, so that the height test, I'm five foot nine, so there's well over six feet down here, lots of room for everybody. And as you can see, we've got all around our test, and we have a door out to starboard, a door in the after bulkhead to the galley where we're going in a moment, and we've got this big one the way down here, which takes us down to the, the forward living accommodation. So let's, uh, let's pick you up, and we'll take you through to the galley. And I'm going to place you right midships there so here we are in the galley now we've got almost complete a thwart ships distance from one side to the other apart from the waist to either side so should be uh, nice and stable we're about halfway along the ship here as well so a really good place for a galley we've got access through the uh, the port companion way here cupboards here cupboards all the way uh, along underneath where the camera's sitting We've got the four burner cooker here as well, so with a, a ventilation or an extractor grill there too. So uh, really, really nice for cooking, of course. On the starboard side here, we've got more cupboards. We've got actually we've got stacks of workspace here to prepare, chop your cucumbers and your onions and everything. And we've also got a dishwasher there. Uh, an interesting feature actually that's here de facto is uh, is this. Uh, I bet nobody can guess what this is. This is the old bridge screen. So. Um, until recently the bridge was here and this is where the captain would have looked out of and steered the boat. Everything has been moved up a deck now so it's a lot higher, you get a better view, it makes, it, it's opened up and created all of this space that we've got here too. So yeah, um, still looks like the, the front of the bridge screen a little bit but uh, that's actually what it was. So interesting fact for you readers. Okay, so um, what I'll do now is I'll pick you up and we'll, uh, we'll go out of the deck and I'll talk you where we're going. So we're out of the galley through the messing area and we'll exit out the starboard side and I'm still walking with the camera and we're walking aft down the starboard waist, very pleasant day, past the engine room access and into the upper deck accommodation area. We'll start by moving forwards and here we are. Sorry it's not tidy enough for you everybody, I've uh, I've dropped my standards there a little bit, but there we go. This is uh, what used to be the bridge. Now, as you can see, it's been made into what I would uh, describe as an office. So we've got a nice big um, desk there, or vanity unit, or whatever you'd like to call it, with, with cupboards underneath, and we've got a, a single bed here. So it's actually really nice and cosy in here. So if you fancy just working and crashing, working and crashing, this would be a great place to do it. Do, to do it. We've got windows all around as well, so um, yeah, nice little area. Obviously good with a tidy, but that's just surface stuff. And as I mentioned, this boat is still emerging from a, a sizable work package, so uh, some lucky person is going to be on the receiving end of all that. So let's pick you up again, and we'll go out of the back of the cabin. And I'm going to have to exit on the starboard side and walk around to the after deck so you'll notice the 
the, the nice little after deck here, we've got some seating, etc., and a hatch down to the steering compartment. And because the door was locked from the other side, which is this door here, um, I've had to enter through the after um, companionway. And I'll put you in the middle of the uh, double bed. So here we go, we've got the uh, after accommodation, we've got a double bed, we've got cupboards, we've got a front door, which is lockable just like at home, we've got portholes as well, and as you can see we've got this uh, this area here, which I, I imagine uh, it's, it's a changing area, or you could have more furniture here, etc, etc, but it feels nice in here. The ceiling's a bit lower, again I'm 5 foot 9, that's probably 5'11", something like that, so if you're 6 feet or so, you'll just be rubbing I think. But we have got this uh, nice uh, wooden uh, lining, head lining, bulkhead lining, we've got a nice carpet as well, so uh, not too much to complain about in here. I'm just going to pick the camera up again and we'll move to the midships area of this, uh, I'd call this a suite actually. Um, and again we've got this area which is pretty much the entrance vestibule or the dressing area, somewhere to put your shoes, we've got some drawers here and a mirror etc etc, but uh, yeah it feels nice and homely in here and I like it. Right, let's take the camera, move her again and we'll walk into here, yeah, I'm putting it on the toilet, I know you've always wanted to be there, and I'll just close the door briefly. Here we are, we're in the heads, or the showers. So we've got the head, which is where the camera's sitting, and we've got the shower in the starboard forward corner sink there too. So it feels nice, good flooring, I think it's the outro flooring, and we've got the, uh, the tiling as well. So it feels quite nice and contemporary in here, as do the other heads and bathrooms, so all good. So let's pick you up for the final time. And I'm, going to, I'm not going to take you back to the mess, I'm going to put you right on the corner of this uh, set of drawers again where I'm going to sum up. So we've been for a little bit of a tour in the main mess area, we've been into the galley and then we came all the way round, we had a look in what was the old bridge and then reversed out of that out onto the starboard waste and then we came in the after entrance to this cabin here. So. Uh, Hope you've got a really good idea for the layout of this accommodation or the upper deck accommodation. Don't forget there are six cabins down below forward as well. There's a separate video on that, which I hope you'll see. But um, yeah, hope you've, had a, a, you've got a really good idea about this accommodation, how it's laid out and if it might be a space for you. If you'd like any more information, just go to boatshedportsmouth.com or boatshed.com where you'll find lots more pictures, videos and much, much more virtual reality content. Thanks for sharing this time with me. It's been great having you along and we hope to catch up with you again soon. Take care.